today we're going to be looking at resolving vectors parallel and perpendicular to a slope. So I have a question over here on the screen and this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and attempt the question. So let's have a look at the solution to this particular problem. The first thing that we would need to do is just calculate the weight. So let's just quickly do that. W, the weight, is going to equal to mg. We're given the mass, so we can calculate that straight away. So it's going to be 10 kilograms multiplied by the gravitational acceleration on Earth, which is 9.81 meters per second per second. And uh, this will be 98.1 newtons now let's draw this vector which will be acting straight down like so so it's going to be 98.1 so 98.1 newtons vertically downwards the next step would be to once again realize that this weight vector can be represented by the addition of two vectors. One of them is going to be parallel to a slope, the other one will be perpendicular to a slope. Okay, well, let's draw these. So this 98.1 vector is going to be represented by the addition of one vector, then of another one along here. So it's going to be one along this side, along the slope, and one vector which will be going perpendicular to the slope. Okay, well, now let's think about angles. I'm just going to zoom in into this diagram over here, and uh, let's imagine that we just extend this one a little bit more, and you can see that this angle here is going to be 90 degrees. Now, in, in the triangle across here, we can see that if this angle here is 25 and this angle here is 90 degrees, then the angle here has got to be 65 degrees. So let's just write that in. So this here has got to be 65 degrees. And that's simply because those two angles have got to add up to 90. Now let's focus on this smaller triangle over here. Remember this component here is the perpendicular component, which means that this angle here is 90 degrees. So if this one here is 90, this one here is 65. This means that this angle here has got to be 25 degrees. In other words, this angle here, 25, is has got to be equal to this angle here which is 25 as well and now we can apply the usual tricks of resolving vectors remember the opposite component will be equal to the hypotenuse times the sine of the opposite angle so the opposite component which is the parallel component is going to be so let me just write this one I'm just going to point to this component this is going to be the hypotenuse which is 98.1 times the sine of the angle which is sine of 25 degrees and this one here is the parallel component like so the perpendicular component which is this component over here as you can see this is the adjacent component and uh, this here is going to be 98.1 cos of 25 degrees and this one here is the perpendicular component If you are a little bit unsure how I uh, resolve these vectors, please have a look at my vector resolution video. I'm going to uh, put a link into the description down below. So let's just actually calculate those values. So for the first one, which is the parallel component, the, um, the parallel component is going to equal to the weight times the sine of the angle, let's call that angle theta in general, 
and this is going to equal to 98.1 times the sine of 25 degrees, which if we put this into a scientific calculator, we're going to get 41.4588, etc. And in this case, we'll be working up to two significant figures, so I'm going to leave that as 41 newtons. So 41 newtons. Let's have a look at the perpendicular component. So that would be part two, which is the perpendicular component. So for this case, this will be the weight times the, times the cosine of the angle. The weight is 98.1 times cosine of 25 degrees. And up to two significant figures, this will be 89 newtons. So 89 newtons are going to be acting perpendicularly to a slope and 41 newtons are going to be acting in a direction parallel to a slope. Okay, folks, so hopefully that makes sense. If there are any questions, please feel free to uh, drop a comment and thank you very much for watching.